Hey, how's it going? This is your Daily Sweet Talk for July 30th, 2023. About two weeks ago, I went to an album listening party for the Barbie the Album soundtrack. And um, there's a track on the album from Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice where they it's like a remix, a new take on the classic um, Barbie Girl song by Aqua. Um, I thought it was a weird choice to include the song in the movie. I remember when, uh, I think, I feel like it was announced at some point that there was no intention of using the song in the movie. This was before the, I mean, I'm sure the soundtrack was like made in conjunction with the movie because there are songs in the movie that are like, um, uh, go along with what's happening in the movie. I didn't, um, the reason I'm only talking about it now is because I just saw the movie today. Uh, Barbie the movie. Um, very good. And uh, I remember people reacting when the when it wasn't, it was, I'm pretty sure it was said that the song was not going to be in the movie. Like, how can you not include that? It's like the most famous Barbie thing, which is silly to me because the most famous Barbie thing is Barbie. Like, it'd be like saying, uh, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of an example off the top of my head. Um, but, uh, uh, it's uh barbie is a a kid's toy um and that song is like not for kids it's like a radio song about like full of like full of innuendos and stuff um and so my my thought was like well they obviously they're not going to use the song in the movie because it's a barbie's for kids it's a kid's movie now that i've seen the movie I can say safely say it is not a kids movie. It's mostly appropriate uh, for kids to watch. The most inappropriate thing was that, like there were there were some innuendo. There were pretty direct thing, but the most inappropriate thing I would say probably is when the credits hit and Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice's um, remix of the song comes on and there's a line where it's like I'm Barbie bitch or whatever or something like that. Um, and there's not really any language like that in the movie. There's like one swear that's censored out and we like a tell logo, maybe uh, whatever. Sorry, spoiled that joke, whatever. Uh, <laughs> you don't have the context for it. So there, there's not really a swear until that moment in the credits, um, which is a weird choice. Uh, I think it's a weird choice to use a song in the movie, e- regardless, even if it's a movie, um, that's meant for adults. And I do think that is the target audience is, is adults. Um, that's, that's, that's what I think. Um, because there's a, it's still like the song is very objectifying of Barbie. <laughs> they're a to- they're a doll, they're toys. I mean, I mean, of course, uh, being ob- objectified cause they're literally an object. Um, but it's like, there's, so the song goes like, Barbie's like, I'm a blonde bimbo girl in a fantasy world. There's a line in the movie, Barbie, where someone like calls Barbie a bimbo and Barbie like responds like Barbie is not a bimbo. And they're like, whatever they say, like what Barbie is. I can't remember. I just watched it. So I, I don't remember all the lines, obviously. Um, uh, so I do think the song is still like antithetical to what the movie is trying to go for, even though I don't fully understand all the themes that the movie is, was like presenting, um, and the message and everything. But I do think that song seems antithet- antithetical to like what they're, they're going for. Um, also Nicki Minaj, like Nicki Minaj uses Barbie as like an aesthetic. So that's cool for them that they got to be on the official Barbie movie soundtrack, but also um, weird that they would feature Nicki Minaj on the Barbie, the movie soundtrack. It'd be like featuring Ice Spice on a Powerpuff Girls movie soundtrack. I get like weird choice to me. That's, that's my point. I guess it's, um, it was a weird choice to, I think I heard that they weren't going to, and that Margot Robbie was like, well, you have to use, the song, uh, the, the Aqua song, because it's so iconic. Anyway, I also saw Oppenheimer Day, and I was blown away that they didn't include a reference to Epic Rapitals of History, then also Oppenheimer, because of course that's what they're known for.